Hello everyone, let me introduce you to Jackie the Miner, a super rare tank brawler who has the ability to make opponents to keep their distance away from her. And at the same time, her super have an ability to pull opponents towards her. For me personally, Jackie is a definition of why are you hitting yourself. And it's because of her star power, which I will explain it later in the video. Jackie is an aggressive and merciless brawler when it comes to close range fight. It's because of her ability you can punish her opponent even though another tank and anti-tank brawler. But it depends on how you play her. One of the example is, do you believe me if Jackie can win a fight against Shelly with fully charged super? Surprisingly, she can. Either she won or she will take open Shelly down with her. But it's come back to how you play her. Not only that, she also can be a shepherd dog to take area control in the match. I mean, what will you do if you see Jackie charging towards you and dodge every single attack you shoot at her? It have the same vibe if you play Rainbow Six Siege and her bleed stomping and running towards you with flash ready. A pure panic indeed. I will explain more about her later. But now, let's talk about her normal tech, super, star power, gadget, and her brand new hypercharge. Jackie's normal tech, groundbreaker. Jackie hops on her jackhammer and makes short AoE attack and deal damage to the closest enemy. It's still 2480 damage on max level per attack. 2480 damage is a massive number to attack your enemy, but you need to land all her 3 ammo to take down the opponent. Some advice for me, for a tank brawler, her normal reload speed is still count as slow. It's because a tank brawler need to have a fast reload speed to take down their opponent on close combat. So, when you use her normal attack, make sure you have all the 3 ammo ready. If you miss your first attack, retreat immediately and wait your ammo full again. If you manage to land your first attack, you can land all three continuously, without any miss. Except if you against a brawler who have an escape ability. After that, you will have two conditions. The first condition is, after three hit and your opponent on low health, you can keep your distance close, try to dodge every possible attack, and wait for one more ammo to finish the opponent. On second condition, after 3 hits on your target, your teammate is coming to pick them up. So, you need to get back to the safe position. You can use the closest wall to recover, heal, and charge your ammo. Jackie normal attack is depend on how you manage her ammo and position. Next is her super holy moly. Jackie make a large AOE to pull enemy towards her. So, in the old version, this super is so bad. Because when you perform her super, she will stay on the spot and cannot move until the super is over. But now, they rework her super. So, now you can attack and move freely when you use her super. It's give her more movability for an upcoming attack. Surprisingly, her super is very useful for some situation. If some enemy manage to escape your full 3 attacks from your normal attack radius on low health, you can pull them back to finish them. Not only that, there's some certain brawler who have a delayed time when performing their super. Like Macy and Frank. Remember my previous Jin Guide video about this gadget lamp blowout? It's the same thing as Jackie's super. Her super can stop Macy and Frank when they perform their super. On Brawl Ball, you can use her super to make enemy drop the ball when trying to reach the goal. Now the 50-50 chance when using her super. If you manage or accidentally pull all 3 enemy with your super, there's a 50-50 chance either you manage to wipe them out or they manage to take you down first. And for last thing about her super, just like any other tank brawler takes, she can charge her super when got hit by enemy attacks. But here another tips for me. Don't depend on this trait to charge her super, except when you play on the open map and it's hard to get it close to the enemy. Treat this trait as a bonus charge when landing her normal tech. 
because logically, if you can hit them with your normal attack, that means they can attack you too, because your both distance are very close. So, to charge her super, keep depend on her normal attack rather than her traits. Now, let's talk about her gadget. The first gadget is New Medic Booster. What is clear is that everyone used this gadget compared to the other one. This gadget increases Jackie's speed for 25% on 4 seconds. Don't underestimate the 25 bonus speed, it's a big buff. The way to take full advantage of this gadget is to catch up the enemy who trying to escape or it's faster than you. It will be more effective if you have her super ready. And also, if you are a gym carrier on gym grab, don't be shy to use this gadget to retreat faster to the safety. Now to her second gadget, Rebuild. I know for some player this gadget is utterly useless and preferred to the other one. Because all it's to do is only rebuild environment on a small radius. But don't worry, I found a good way to take a full advantage of this gadget. It's a very useful for one and only mode Brawl Ball. Simply, almost all map on Brawl Ball have a middle wall in the front of the goal, extra wall on the left and the right to make it more difficult to score. And also, there's a lot of brawlers who have ability to destroy wall will take the advantage of this. And you must be think, Oh, that means you will use this gadget to fix the wall that they will destroy, right? Well, yes, but actually no at the same time. I mean, not now. That was a good idea until they managed to destroy the wall again. To take full advantage of this gadget, you will need to wait if the game goes to overtime. Because first, we can take advantage for enemy brawler who can destroy a wall but only with a gadget, just like Griffin, Stu, or any other brawler. If we manage to use this gadget on overtime, there is a possibility that they have already used all their gadgets. And with 3 charts of repair, the most useful wall you need to fix on overtime is the 2 wall on the left and right on the goal, and 1 wall in the front forward of the middle goal. Extra protection. And now, let's moving on on Jakey's star power. Let's talk about her star power, Hardy Heart Head first. Jakey Heart Head reduces any incoming damage by 20%, and still, 20% is a big buff. I recommend this star power to fight against a long range and low health brawler, especially sniper and thrower, if you play on the open map. Now, with this star power, you can depend more on her tank trait, charge super when taking damage. Because if you fight against a long range brawler to an open map with less wall to cover up, you are in dangerous situation. With this star power, at least you can reduce incoming damage while trying to dodge and get closer to the enemy. Because we already know some of the long range brawler is have a low health except a certain brawler, like a bit, pearl, and other. That means her normal attack damage is enough to take them down, so we can focus more on her speed and health. But rather use this star power, I rather use the other star power. Everyone, let me introduce you to a game changer for Jack. The star power counter cross. I really, really recommend this star power other than the other one. Cause this star power is the one who makes Jackie into an unstoppable killing machine. You will be like, But what does star power even do? In short, this star power gives Jackie a passive skill which is usually in video game is called return damage. Return damage in video game is basically referred to the ability earn an effect that reflects a certain amount of damage back to the attacker every time the user receives damage. The basic idea is that when some character have this ability taking damage, a portion or all of the damage they receive will be reflected back to the attacker. Some example of return damage ability in other video game is Dead Mail from Dota 2, Horn Mail from League of Legends, Blade Armor from Mobile Legends, and other. In Brawl Stars, so far there are a few brawlers who have this ability. Buster with his super montage, Nani with her gadget pattern to sender, and Jakey with her star power counter cross. For Jakey's star power, she will return the damage from any opponent by 30% on big AOE around Jakey herself. Remember, the 30% return damage output is based on opponent attack, not from Jackie health. So, you need to be careful against a certain brawler. 
and also you need to remember that this AoE is likely bigger than her normal attack. So even behind a wall, you can still damage the opponent. This star power is a reason why Jakey can counter any other close range brawler and even almost all tank brawler, including one of the anti tank brawler, Shell. Here are some leaf of tank brawler from easy to hardest to take down based on my experience playing Jakey. Starting to El Primo, BB, Hank, and Mac are the easiest tank brawler to take them down. Because some of these tank brawlers have a rapid attack that can be countered by Jackie's star power counter cross, and also a real speed who is slower than Jackie. Next is Buster, Frank, and S are slightly difficult to take down due to their massive health and damage. To win a fight against them, you need to run around the Rosie to the point you can take them down. With your 3 ammo normal attack on max level, the total damage you can deal is around 7440 damage. And with counter crush, the written damage can increase the damage output even further until 10,000 damage. Depends on the damage opponent can do. Now for quietly hard tank to take down is Bull, Daryl, and Rosa. For Bull and Daryl, the reason why is not only they have a massive health and damage reduction, they also have a massive damage output per ammo. To make things easier, Jackie can counter Shelly's supercharge even in close fight with counter crush star power. Because even she can deal a massive damage with her super, her health is count as normal and not as big than a tank brawler. If Shelly opponent have a bad at star power, you need to wait until her star power is used and enter cooldown period. It's either you play bad, you get killed or you got killed but managed to take her down with you with your counter quest or if you good enough you can survive and take down Shelly and also that is why Bull and Daryl is more harder to take down due to their massive health and damage reduction they also have a massive damage per ammo on close range that is why Jackie counter quest can do much against them but it's back to how you play her either you play good enough or your opponent Bull Daryl is playing bad you maybe can manage to take them down. Just keep in mind about your position and try to dodge every attack as possible. And for Rosa, you need to be aware of her super. Her damage reduction super is really make your damage useless even with counter crush. To counter her, you need to wait until her super finish. Now, I want to talk about her best pair of gear. I will make this simple. The first and the most important gear you will need is damage gear. Never replace this gear. With that gear, below 50% health, your normal attack can deal over 2852 damage per ammo. That means if you use all 3 ammo while this gear is active, you can deal total 8556 damage, and the damage from control crush is not included. After you have damage gear, one more slot you can pick any gear except vision gear. For gadget charge gear, I only recommend it to use it when you use rebuild gadget on Pro Ball. Speed gear is very good if you play a map with a lot of boosts for extra movement speed, but be careful if you fight against bow with circling eagle star power. Health gear and shield gear is both good for survivability. And super charge gear for help you charge your super faster. Another note here, for super charge gear is not too much with her normal type. Because you only need 4 attack to fill her super. But you need to know this gear is also work with her traits. Brawler can charge their super if got hit by enemy. That means if you got hit by an opponent who have a rapid attack for ammo like Colt, Rico, Max, Leon and other, her super will be charged faster than before. For my personal use of gear, I always use between speed and damage for map with a lot of pushes or health and damage for survivability. But it's all come back to you on how you want to play your Jackie comfortably. Now I want to talk about the new mechanic Hypercharge. I'm gonna keep it short. Jackie Hypercharge Seismic even buff on her super is literally useless. This Hypercharge gives Jackie a 25 extra speed, 25 extra damage, and 50% extra speed. Holy moly slow down enemy for 1.5 seconds is not a good buff. So, I need to tell you, the thing of this hypercharge is only for extra split and damage buff only. To maximize this hypercharge, you need to pair this with her gadget, new medic booster and her super. 
the way it works is, you need to use her speed gadget and her hypercharge at the same time, no matter what skill you use first. It's gonna give you a total of 50% extra speed. Yes, her gadget buff and her hypercharge is stackable. Not only that, if you have speed gear selected in the boost, you will have extra another 50% speed buff. Also stackable. That means you can get a total bonus 65% speed. And more of that, the damage buff is also stackable. If you use her hypercharge, her normal attack can deal 3100 damage per ammo. So, if you use all 3 ammo, you can deal a total of 9300 damage. There's more. If you have damage gear selected when your hypercharge is active, your normal attack can deal over 3472 damage per ammo. So, if you use all 3 ammo while your damage gear and hypercharge active, you can deal a total damage about 10,416 damage. And the control crash star power is not included. So, that means you can deal more than just 10,416 damage. For the final topic I want to talk about is about Jackie tips and tricks. So far in my experience, the most dangerous counter for Jackie is of course Colette the Anti-Tank, Cordelius, and Charlie with their immobilized super. And I have my tips if you fight against one of them. For Colette, make sure to count her ammo and wait the perfect time to attack. If she have her gadget gadget selected, then it'll be very hard to fight her. You can't take her down alone, so you need to rely on your teammate. Or if you're brave enough, you can sneak attack in the bushes to ambulance her. So you have a chance to take her down. For Cordelius, make sure to keep distance from him until your super is ready. If he manages to get you with his super, try to use a nearby wall to cover yourself. So if he have no choice by getting close to you behind a wall, you can take advantage to counter him. Now, for the brand new brawler Charlie is, well, just don't let her got you with her super, especially if you have your hypercharge active, it's gonna be a waste. Now, for close combat, after you use your super, try to run around the enemy while spamming normal attack, not only for dodging their attack, but also damaging them at the same time. If it was hard to dodge, at least your star power counter plus will do you a favor. Now, for a trick that always works on a specific mode. Just like my previous Jin Guide video, a simple pull and kick trick on Brawl Ball. All you need to do is keep your super ready. And when is there an opponent blocking your kick, immediately kick and use your super to make ball go through the opponent. If you remember, on my Jin kick and pull trick, you're able to pull only one enemy. But with Jackie Super who have a basic AoE, you can pull all opponent who block the way of your kick. But you need to remember, to perform this trick, when the opponent just respawn, they will have a few seconds of invisibility of anything. So, you need to wait a few seconds until their invincibility to disappear. Lastly, don't be afraid to get close to the enemy when playing Jack. Remember, you are a shepherd dog for a certain brawler. They will make a distance against you. Watch your teammate movement and try to herding your prey to the corner for an ambush. Or, you can play stealthy and hiding in the bushes with your super ready to ambush your opponent. Your present as Jackie is to spread fear against your opponent. You're the one who hunt prey, not the one who can hunt. Okay everyone, that's all the thing I can tell you about Jackie for you. Sorry if there are any misspeaking word, English is not my first language. But before that, you know, for a small channel like me, this channel is not qualified yet for YouTube monetization, or even a Brawl Star content creator code. So, if you want to support me, feel free to subscribe and like this video. But if you want to support me right away, you can donate to me in the link above or under the description. So I can make more video like this. Thank you so much for watching and I see you guys later.